In this tutorial, we'll cover JumpCloud Samba configurations and pair with JumpCloud's LDAP as a service. Enabling Samba support allows for LDAP users to authenticate to endpoints that require Samba attributes within the LDAP directory. This tutorial will explain the JumpCloud configuration. Configuration for the endpoint authenticating to JumpCloud, such as a NAS or application leveraging LDAP and or Samba authentication will vary and may require vendor documentation to complete. In the JumpCloud admin portal, go to User Authentication in the menu on the left and select LDAP. To see details and configurations, simply click the LDAP instance. To configure Samba, you'll see a checkbox, Configure Samba Authentication. Click the checkbox and enable Samba. You'll now see several attributes appear below in the checkbox such as Workgroup, SID, and Samba Service Account. You'll need to elect the Samba Service Account. To do this, use the drop-down menu and select the JumpCloud user account that you've elevated with BindDM privileges. If you do not see any accounts in the drop-down, check out JumpCloud University's course for configuring LDAP or associated knowledge base articles. In our case, I will select the Super Admin account to be my Samba service account. Once Samba authentication is configured for LDAP, it must be explicitly enabled on a per-group basis. In certain applications, a Linux group must also be created for group presentation to function properly with Samba. In our example, we're going to enable both the sales and marketing user groups to have Samba authentication. To enable a user group for Samba access, I'll navigate to the Users Group tab in the LDAP configuration, select the user groups I want to enable, in this case sales and marketing, and then ensure that the user group has Samba authentication enabled. To commit these changes, I will then hit the Save button in the bottom right. Once this has been saved, anyone within the sales or marketing user groups will have the ability to use their JumpCloud credentials to access Samba shares over LDAP-S, depending on the permissions and ACLs you set on those shares. Check out JumpCloud's knowledge base articles for more information about configuring and utilizing JumpCloud's LDAP as a service and Samba configurations.